Hi and welcome to the next lecture part on nested resampling for tuning. So we've already seen that if we don't perform something like nested resampling but just optimize over our uh, test set um, during tuning or optimize over cross-validation, this will result in biased performance estimates, unreliable optimistic performance estimates um, that um, we return at the end of the process. So um, in order to repair this, we've also already um, introduced the train validation test procedure where we perform a three-way split into a training set, a validation test, and an unt untouched test set at the end. Um, so we can use this um, third test set for unbiased performance estimation. Um, this works. The problem is um, associated with this three-way split is kind of a similar problem um, that we saw when we talked about um, the, the generalization of the train test set principle to cross-validation and repeated resampling. So the smaller our complete data set is, the more valuable our individual data points and um, the more we are inclined to have a large training set and a large test set and we can't have both things uh, simultaneously if we split up the data only once. And the same holds true um, in nested resampling that's kind of uh, in a certain sense even worse because we don't have to split the data into two sets, we don't have to split it into three. Um, but we can just use exactly the same trick as before when we went from single train test splits to, um, to cross-validation. We just um, turn a single split into a loop um, and average out um, our estimated performance values at the end. And for nested resampling, that actually results in two nested resampling loops. One uh, on the inside for tuning and one on the, out on the outside for uh, unbiased evaluation. Um, so how does that look like concretely? So let's assume we want to tune over a set of uh, candidate hyperparameter configurations. Maybe there's um, a couple of them, lambda i, maybe we are performing something like grid search. And we are doing something like a fourfold cross-validation on the inner resampling for tuning. And we're doing something like a three-fold cross-validation in the outer loop. So this now looks like this. So our outer loop is visualized as these uh, as this splitting into light green and dark green parts, while the splitting that goes on in the inner loop for tuning, maybe through grid search, is visualized here um, in these uh, yeah blue um, grayish uh, fourfold splits. So. Um, what happens now in each iteration in the outer loop is the following. We split off some light green portion of the data, so for threefold cross validation, we split off exactly one third for testing, and we retain two thirds of the data here as this dark green part. And then on this dark green part, our task is now through tuning, find an optimal lambda configuration. Um, through fourfold cross validation and return this. Um, and how do we do this? So we split up this dark green part uh, in through fourfold cross validation. We run our first hyperparameter configuration on this, store its estimated performance value, the second one, the third one, and so on, and so on, and so on, until our search procedure has um, depleted its budget and uh, decided upon the optimal configuration on this dark green set here. Then we fit our model one final time with the optimal configuration lambda star on this dark green part. And now we predict this light green part here. And this is the first unbiased um, performance estimate that we actually store. Um, so this we do again for the second outer um, iteration. Again, we split off one third this light green part here as an untouched test set 
we now run fourfold cross validation on this guy again and again during tuning we return the optimal lambda star configuration on this dark green part we retrain our model on the full outer dark green training outer training set or outer model selection set we predict on the light green set we obtain a second unbiased performance estimate and um, we do exactly the same thing in the third and the third outer um, iteration um, get our optimal configuration for the dark green part fit our model on it um, and predict uh, the light green part um, for a third time to get our hands on a third unbiased performance estimate and these error estimates on the outer samples uh, are unbiased because this data was strictly excluded from any model building process we average their performance values as to get a point estimator for an unbiased generalization error estimate on the com um, for this um, for this data generating process and this will be a reliable estimate um, if we look again at our motivating example that i showed before and um, where i was running this nonsensical feature independent algorithm with a uh, with an ineffective hyperparameter lambda and a random search where i could show that i get basically arbitrarily small uh, misleading performance estimates and i do this now with uh, nested resampling uh, um, we can see that through nested resampling we actually get um, the expected behavior of unbiased performance estimates fluctuating around 50% and not going down over time yeah, lower and lower and lower and lower and lower. 